guys it's me again um back with another video i need to start doing a um a intro like i need to get better at this i just be getting into it because i talk to y'all like y'all my friends so but um i just got back from vacation last night um i literally got in the house at 2 a.m so today i was like i kind of wanted to be like a self-care day get myself ready because i had two clients tomorrow so in one book at nine o'clock so i literally just have a couple of hours to myself i'm at crafty crab right now by my house and i just want to enjoy my peace and quiet in my alone time like i just i love being by myself and i know that is like weird but i do so i'm going to get my food um i'm not the type of person i don't like people watch me eat so i'm not going to record me eating but i'm gonna show you what i got and then when i get back in the car we're just gonna have like a a, a talk I want to do like uh just like a chit chat a catch up um just because I really solely base my channel on me evolving me getting better me becoming a better person and this that and the third so whenever I have a life update I just want to update you guys let you know how the trip went I still have to upload my hair install video and stuff like that I uploaded something out of order so it's going to look weird on my page but you'll get the content when you get it okay just make sure to like it but um i'm about to go in and enjoy my peace and quiet i got um my cousin has a brand so i got his brand on i got some biker shorts on and then like my little bubble slides these glasses because my lashes throwing up game signs i swear y'all i swear like the girl did my lashes so so good but i'm just not the person for lashes like i literally will do like this and plug them out plug them out so i really am a strip girl that's why i sell strips and you guys can follow the link in the bio and get a pair and i'm just i need to show y'all like do a lookbook anyway but i really am a strip girl i love the bottom lashes though i love them so i'm going to probably go to somebody only and strictly for bottom lashes and wear my strips because i think i pay like 160 dollars without tip and I don't even know. It might be more because I don't know if the if, mm, I don't know if the girl actually took out the deposit or if I was I don't know because it was like early morning fee, this fee, that fee, da, 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 da. it was a lot going on with that. But I think I paid like a hundred and sixty some dollars for lashes that didn't last me four or five days. I promise you. And yeah, I'm not recommending her because don't get me wrong, she did amazing work. Like the outcome, the product, the look was amazing my lashes in last five days and you charge me over 160 dollars without your tip included because i tipped her because i mean it's a service so i tip huh that don't add up but i'm gonna leave her alone because she did good it, it served the purpose okay i'm back guys and i am i don't know if i want to tell you where i'm at i don't know this little this little inter internet stuff be throwing me through a little loop but i made a stop before i'm going back home um a quick little stop but the food was excuse me the food was good um like i said i didn't record in there and i was going to but where they put me um was actually like by a speaker so you wouldn't be able to hear me anyway and i did have my airpods but you wouldn't be able to hear nothing that was going on so let's just get into it and let's just have like a little girls chat or a talk or whatever you want to call whoever's watching like just talk about being 20 something in 2022 about to be 2023 because it's like i know i'm not the only one life is kicking life is hard okay y'all probably gonna catch me at different angles because i don't have my um tripod i just walked out the house because i didn't really think i was going to be recording the video it's kind of like impromptu but i and i talk on my hands a lot i'm sorry <laughs> but i am fighting for my life when it comes to being 22 i just 22 was not an amazing year for me like it just wasn't it just wasn't like on my 22nd birthday i got into a car accident 
Then my car cost more what the people's insurance was, so they weren't trying to pay. Then um, my Ubers, like, to work were, like, $60. Like, that was the issue. It was like I was putting out more money than I was bringing in. Now I'm recuperating and then, like, recuperating my savings, making sure that, like, my money is paid, paying down credit cards, paying, like, making sure that my money is back the way that I like it, like, like, I don't know about everybody else, but I'm the kind of person, I like my money to look a certain kind of way. Like, I like a certain number. I like to call me in a certain spot. Like, I and I need that for me. And I'm not the kind of person, I don't buy a whole bunch of, I don't buy a designer. Because I can't, I'm not going to say I don't. Everybody is a di designer. That's a designer. Everything is designer, but I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not at a point in my life where I'm comfortable spending $2,500 on a bag. $600 shoes not yet I will be though that's why when people be like oh how can you do this why you do that da, 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 da. I keep my mouth shut because I am here for the girls that are dripped in designer I'm here for it it's gonna be me it's gonna be me but yes I am 22 I live with my mom because my mom does not want me to get an apartment um before I move out and that has not stopped me at all if I want to move I can move obviously I just I listen to my mom's advice and I go by word of mouth and her mistakes and what she has done and I I try to learn so thus far I still live my with my mom at 22 at I think I was 20 or 21 when I decided to stop going to school um so I dropped out of college um I've always worked like out of I've been working since I was in high school since I was like 15 I've been working so money was never really the issue it's just that the fact that I always feel like I never accomplished anything or I haven't thus far so and that's my biggest thing with me like I literally have to write down my achievements because I don't think I achieve my goals but I do and I feel like they call that like imposter syndrome or something like that um but so that happened at like 20, but I am 22 and I, this is, I'm sitting in my third car. It would have been my second. The third one, not my, it wasn't my, it wasn't my doing, but I'm sitting in my third car, excuse me. And I'm just like figuring out life and trying to figure out friendships and relationships and situations with my family and things like that. I'm literally just figuring it out. And I feel like I have to make this video because so many people think that I have it figured out. I have a game plan. I'm I'm on the right path. I'm doing this. And I do not know what I'm doing like at all. Like I don't want people to think, to assume. I don't know what I'm doing. I am 22. I'm 22, talking to a camera, about to upload this video on YouTube. None of my sisters, none of my mom, my aunts, nobody has done this. So what I am trying to do for me, I have to figure out everything thus far because no one has walked the same path that I'm trying to walk. And I get a lot of people who always tell me I think I'm better than them or I haven't gone through anything in life or whatever the case may be. Um... And I choose not to go through certain things in life. I choose not to deal with a guy that's going to put me through the ringer. Nobody's perfect, but you're not going to cheat on me and think I'm going to go back to you. No. So that is my choice. I choose not to have children because I am not in a predicament. I don't have a degree. I don't have, like, I have certifications and things like that. So I am clearly able to make money, but I do not have something that is sturdy where I feel comfortable about bringing another person into this life and having them depend on me and me solely so i don't do that i think um my sister husband just pulled up so this is gonna be weird <laughs> i'm dead he just staring at me and i'm staring at him <laughs> but i just it's weird because I, i'm a little more comfortable with being on the phone and on camera and stuff like that a little bit but not really but yeah, I'm just figuring it out. Like, I just went on vacation. Well, I got back from vacation yesterday, so I don't know what today is. But I got back um, at, like, 2 a.m. while I was on vacation. While I was on vacation. Um, mm, mm, while I was on vacation, something had happened with my boyfriend. Like, he's, he's, he's very, like, not... I don't know. 
know he's very like territorial and something had happened and i had to do deal with that and then i felt like he crossed the line and he he overstepped the boundary that happened when i went on vacation we didn't do anything that i thought we were gonna do so it was just kind of thrown off by that like we i literally had to sit in the airport for like 10 hours and i'm not exaggerating 10 hours in the airport because the checkout from the time of the checkout to the time that the plane left like the person who coordinated everything like the person who coordinated everything thought it was like we left at 11 a.m and the flight was at 11 p.m but the checkout was for like 8 a.m or something like or 11 or something like that but she ended up the lady ended up pushing it back to like one so but so the last day i went on the beach um one day it was like raining to the point where it flooded like it just wasn't and i went to san juan puerto rico it's my second time being there one time before with my ex this time with some friends and it just doesn't do me right anytime that i go to puerto rico it just doesn't do me right and i'm not puerto rico is absolutely beautiful the people are amazing the ubers are like four dollars so you can get anywhere it doesn't matter i also love the fact that san juan you don't have to have a lot of money to go everything is pretty cheap unless you're doing like touristy stuff then it can be a hundred and some dollars but overall it's really cheap to go it just doesn't do me right and um I just, I have had a really hard year, a really hard year, a really rough year for me in my circumstances. I cannot stand what people with children be like, oh, you don't know what hard is. I, I'm not begging nobody to buy my baby diapers. No, I don't know what you, I don't know. I don't know what it is to, to not have a parent that, I don't know what that is. So I'm saying for me and my circumstances and what I'm going through, a person that's trying to figure out life, a person that's in their mama house, a person that pays no rent, a person that literally just has the opportunity to figure out what they're doing in their life. Yes, it's hard because I don't know what, the, I don't know what I'm doing. This man backing up and you can hit my car if you want to. <laughs> somebody uh, hit my car i dare you but no like i just genuinely don't know what i'm doing and i'm honestly blessed to have the opportunity or to have the mother that i have because my mom does not take money from me um if i pick something up i pick it up like toilet paper but we i buy my own stuff i just like specific brands and ply of toilet paper and i like certain things and she says that i'm too bougie so i buy my own stuff because i like my hand soap to have moisturizer in it i just do just because it's 99 cent don't mean it works so but that's how i feel so i buy my own stuff but i am blessed to have a parent that she doesn't take no money from me um she doesn't take no rent money from me she doesn't ask for me to pay a water bill a light bill electricity bill she doesn't ask for nothing she doesn't ask me, oh, damn, I walked out the house like that. She doesn't ask me for anything. So I have the opportunity to save and do that stuff that I I, I want to. But then I, I took a job, and the job pays well. It just doesn't pay as much as my last one that I got comfortable in. And with my last job, I was comfortable, but I wasn't happy. I wasn't fulfilled. I, I was missing something. I didn't like the people I worked with. I didn't like the environment. I didn't like the customers. I just didn't like it. So I got another job, and now I'm happy at that job, but it doesn't pay. That's my nose ring because everybody always thinks that's a booger. It's the nose ring. I'm comfortable at my, not comfortable, I'm happy at my job. I love the people I work with. I love the conversations. I love the customers. I love everything about it. But the pay isn't necessarily where I want it to be. I do work in a hair salon, so the money is there. It's just a commission hair salon. So everything that you make, you got to double down. So I have to do two people in order to get the whole price of one. So say I have a customer um, that's $50. They will, I will only see... Um, I will only see 50%. So I would have to do over, I think, like 15, 1500 a week to see, I believe, like 60 or 70% of my money. So you have to make a certain amount and then you, your base is 50%. And then once you start making a certain amount a week, it'll go, it'll lessen. Like they'll only get 40% or 30% or whatever the case may be. And um, 
yeah, when it's off season, that's not cute. It's just not cute. So I don't know what I'm doing with that. I don't know what I'm doing with the relationship because in my relationship, I'm happy with my partner. I'm I love him. I love that stuff, but I do not like the fact that he he to me has in my opinion he's never dated a female who was pretty and they knew they was pretty and they yeah popped they stuff they he never dated one of them so he his chest be hurting like i can't help that people write under my stuff like you see i'm recording a video right like clearly i i want people to comment on my stuff i want people to like my stuff i want people to share my stuff because at the end of the day is how i make money or how i am trying to make money from different streams of different platforms and i don't want to be in a relationship where i gotta continuously explain that to a person where social media is going to eventually be my income you get it? Like, I don't want him to feel uncomfortable because of the job that I have. But mind you, the job that he has, he's, he's around females all day. Do I care? No, because I know his character. And at the end of the day, I'm the type of person, if somebody's going to cheat on you, they're going to cheat on you regardless. It don't matter if you, if it don't matter if y'all have the same phone where the messages come to your phone, he's going to find a way. So I just don't worry about certain stuff. And it just be like, you know, it's just like, and then I, I I was like this morning, like every morning I wake up and I pray. I pray. To, first, thank you for allowing me to wake up. Um, thank you for my health. Thank you for my family. I do all that every single morning. It's just like kind of like a ritual before I pick up my phone. And if I do pick up my phone, I'll literally turn it off and like fake like I'm going back to sleep and think about it in my head. Like I don't get on my knees. I literally roll over and be like, thank you, God, for allowing me to wake up this morning. And I do that because I am a person that needs structure. So I'm at a point where I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Like, I am good at things, but I'm not passionate about anything. So the only thing I'm passionate about is making money. But I don't want my life to be a... I mean, it's hair right there. But you can't see it because the other hair is red. And that's, I'm so sorry. I'm so guys. I'm so sorry for interrupting our conversation. But I had to move that up. Um, I just and then I I went through a spell of I don't accomplish anything. These glasses keep falling on my head. Like I don't know what's going on. That's why I keep touching them. But I went through a spell of, like, I don't accomplish anything. I don't finish anything. Like, I didn't finish school, so I was thinking about going back to school. But then I realized I'm not passionate about what I went to school for. I went to school for criminology to become a criminological psychologist. Basically, a psychologist that studies criminals. And the classes that I had to take were very graphic. And the things that, like, the things that happen in real life that they let you know because that's your field like it is genuinely disturbing and i just don't want to see the world that way like i want to see rainbows and kittens and flowers i don't want to see the, th the no jeffrey dahmer yeah stuff like that is real and they teach about it in school and it's just nasty and i don't want to deal with it so then i was like i'm sorry guys so then I was like, maybe I'll go back to school for being an entrepreneur or whatever the case may be. I sell lashes, scrunchies, stuff like that, like accessories and stuff like that. But it's more so like you, I'll make a sale if somebody's on the page. I don't promote it. So I stopped that. I've stopped everything that I have started. I've done so much stuff. Like, I don't think I've ever done anything in the same industry, but I have done so much stuff and I have so many licenses. I have LLCs. I have licensed certifications. I have the stuff to make the money, but I haven't found what I'm passionate about. And like, even this, I'm not passionate. I, well, I like it. I like talking. So that's what I do. So this is kind of cool. So y'all, tell me why my phone ended up dying. So now I'm back in the car. Um, it's dark outside as you can see. Um, and it's only six o'clock. It's literally six nineteen. It's not even late. It's just dark for some reason. But yeah, that's pretty much all I had to talk about. Like life has been lifing. Real bad. 
this entire year and i'm just ready for another year i think i'm supposed to do two more trips not really trips they're like i'm supposed to do a day trip and then i think i'm supposed to do a 72 hour trip so it's not really like trip trips but just doing something different um those were already planned it's not like i'm trying to do a makeup session or anything like that i genuinely did enjoy puerto rico i like being there it's just nothing to do for me you know like there's nothing that i want to do there that i can't do here okay i'm back guys it is a completely no different day it's like two three days later um i don't have anything else to add except i think i want to start doing like little girl chats or girl talks or chit chats or something like that and i want to post consistently i don't know what day maybe like a sunday talk with me or something like that just because like I said, I, I mainstream my channel or all my social medias to be just as open, as transparent as I possibly can about what I go through in life and what I'm trying to do and where I'm going. So, I don't know. We'll see if I can do something with that. But thank you guys for watching and all the little good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow all my social medias. Bye, guys.